go. But I wanted to, yeah, literally after our call, I was like, yeah, this is the premiere. <laughs> Just the one. Chicago deserves it. They've been through so much. <laughs> They've been through so much. They've been through so much. It's my public service. Okay. Um, you are, and, 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 and doing great work over there. I mean, making, cutting through some of the noise in, in, in this city and, and staking a claim. Um, on issues that sometimes make people uncomfortable is not easy. So bravo to you and your team, and part of why I wanted you here. Tell me about some of the key initiatives that you and your team over at Chicago Foundation um, for Women are leading. What are, what are some of the key things you're working on? Absolutely. I think first I'll just start by saying every single day, mm -hmm. 300,000 women mm -hmm. in our city, and it's more, that's a number before COVID, mm -hmm. um, find themselves you know, housing insecure, they find themselves perhaps victims mm. of gender-based violence. They do not make enough to put a roof over the heads of their family, so every day they're struggling for the basic necessities. Mm. And we work every day for those women and, and all the others in the city. Um, our three big issue areas really are freedom from gender-based violence, access to health care, mm. health and information about health, and economic security and opportunity for women and girls. So we support organizations. I raise money every single day, cfw.org. Um, oh. I raise oh. money every <laughs> single day um, to support you know, women and girls in our communities. Uh -huh. um, we are also, we have a she recovery uh, initiative, which is our trademark initiative, yes. which is really about making sure that women have an equitable recovery because of so many setbacks because of COVID-19. Mm. When we started, prior to COVID in January 2020, women had just outpaced men in total workforce participation. Mm. And we have seen millions of women have still not gone back to work yeah. because of caregiving and a lot yeah. of the responsibilities. So the four pillars of the she recovery are getting women back to work, caring for our caregivers, and mm. really valuing that work, yeah. as well as addressing the eviction crisis mm and demanding an anti-racist healthcare system. Demanding, I love that demanding. language. Demanding. In that Illinois, language. The, a black woman is six times more likely to die from in childbirth or complications, mm. and the newborn baby also is higher risk. Mm. And this is, in, this is in our state, a state I love, right. um, and those outcomes are similar across the country. And so race, you know, when you norm for economic status, the only thing that remains is some mm. kind of implicit bias in the system. It is what it is. Um, and and sp continuing on with the Chicago Foundation for Women, um, what are the, tw their annual, I'm going to assume because it's got 2023 in front of it. Um, tell me about the 2023 Impact Awards. Absolutely. Um, so at the foundation, we have two signature events that we do every year, our annual luncheon. Um, that I wasn't invited to again. Well, I mean, you know, you have an invitation. It's coming up okay. later this year. Mm -hmm. Um, and our Impact Awards, <laughs> and you have an invitation. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> now, you just, now you just knock it out of the park. Now I have to. I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> but the Impact Awards really are an opportunity to celebrate women who are changing our communities. Mm. Um, we have categories, you know, the community nominates these women, who whether they are um, Vanguard, Vanguard or young people, young women under the age of 30 mm. who are already changing the city, changing our communities and serving mm. in really um, phenomenal ways. Mm. Um, and on the other end, we have um, someone who's been around for a long time, 30 years or more. Vanguard. Um, Vanguard, who has um, really um, committed a career, a long career to uh, it's legacy, mm -hmm. right? So it's legacy type of work, and it's mm -hmm. an opportunity. I love it. I, I mean, I love it. I have to say, I love it almost more than our luncheon because the stories yes. are phenomenal. The community. the community comes out. It's community nomination. Yeah. We do not participate in the voting. Yeah, so when if, if your person did not get it, don't come to me because I, <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> but I really love it because it's uh, a community celebration of everyday sheroes, mm -hmm. um, you know, People, the person next door, the girl next door, who gets overlooked often, but who's been doing some really phenomenal work, and we like to honor them, and we yeah. hold them in uh, March, because March is? Women's History Month. Very good, very good. <laughs> oh, I'm doing... <laughs> 
get me growing. I gave Go a on. tutorial, you know, so. <laughs> She sure did. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> we held it in March for Women's History Month, and so I will certainly let you know the date. I'm coming. And you know what? I just like to throw things in the universe. I have a feeling that Can TV and Chicago Foundation for Women are going to be partnering on some things um, because it tends to be when Felicia um, calls me and we get into a room, there's just opportunity. And, and the work you are doing, and it's interesting because in the eight months, nine months now, I've been here, um, nine months January, I keep reminding, I keep being reminded of and reminding us that we are in an, we are in this dash moment. It's an inflection point, point. Um, and that's why I loved your language earlier. Demanding, I believe much of what my life has been a fifty-fifty shot. Mm. It is a fifty-fifty chance that we are going to begin to address four hundred plus years, all the way back to the colonies mm -hmm. of anti-blackness, mm -hmm. misogyny. Mm -hmm. um, that bring us where people go, I don't know why we're on the brink of the democracy falling apart. I don't know. No, 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 we know. Mm -hmm. Are we in this dash moment going to finally begin to address it in an assertive, aggressive, non-respectability politic, politically correct way? Because if we don't, the locusts are coming. Yes. And the rapture is here. Yes. So that is why the work that you're doing um, and, and our commitment here going into our 40th year is really to partner with organizations because I want to look at this and go in this dash moment. I stood with other folks in the arena, in the arena, in the public square, and we said we are going to swing for the fences, we are going to demand, we are going to not just talk about it and admire the problem. So, I, you know, I'm a big fan and of the And be word. undivided. And be That was the theme mm. of our 2022 luncheon, undivided. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, tell me one thing, viewers, maybe um, your mom, Denise, um, would be surprised to learn about you. My mom knows this, but okay. <laughs> your, the viewers may not know this, that I sing in a band. <laughs> I can't wait. Are you see Yes. Okay. It's a little hobby. I mean, because, you know, it, in, 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 you know I, what's coming. So though, when right? I was a little girl, I sang in church. My mama would mama say, you got that voice. I you like don't use mind. it. God gave you that beautiful Come voice. On. Right. And so I sang in church and, you know, youth choir and stuff is, but then you get away from it. And then as my kids were getting older and I started to actually, when I was at, working at city hall, I was like, man, what do I have that's really just mine, mm. right? Besides my book group, you yes. know, like what is my little thing that I do? And I'm a fellow uh, in Leadership Greater Chicago and we were having an anniversary. It was the 30th year anniversary. And they said, hey, is anybody interested in putting together a band? Stop it. And I said, would you be interested in singers? Because I sing. And so the name of the band is 30 something. Come on. And you know what would be so wonderful? <laughs> oh God. <You> <laughs> I would like, it's been a rough week. <laughs> it's just, it's only Tuesday as we air this, but just a little something. Oh, please. Just a little Oh, something. my goodness. Oh, my. I, because I, what you said to me earlier, mm -hmm. you know you're good. Mm -hmm. So I'm mm -hmm. waiting. I don't know what. What would I say? What would I sing? Left a good job in the city. Come on with the notes. Working for the man every night and day. Okay, that's it. I that's can't wait. Oh, you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And then the arrogant. No, I'm sorry. The confidence of it. Mm. <laughs> But you, listen. You know, it's funny. One time, I, this is funny. I had a friend one time who told their mother, oh, she sings. So the mother says, oh, I hear you sing. And I was like, yeah. And then she said, well, sing something. Just like you just did. Right? Thing I just and so did. in that moment, I'm, I have a choice. I can either sing a little something or I could have this woman think I'm full of something. You know, so I had to throw down. And she, you, and she was like, OK, baby, come on here and come, sit down. Th listen, because listen, the, the one thing I, I come from, like my cousins were um, with MCA Records years ago. My brother was signed to Motown years ago. I know enough to be dangerous, and I know when I hear someone almost from the note, and I went, oh. I mean, you were a little stingy with it, but you know, I mean, no, no, no. We can get back to the next time you come on, because I'm gonna invite you back. My final question, yes. and, and about 30 seconds um, for an answer. Beachfront villa or log cabin? I so want a log cabin right now. I know. 
We're done. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming. It was not the right answer. Thanks I usually, for watching. I usually want to beach. I usually do. I do. It was not. But I just kind of want to go. I want to go away and yeah, sit in a cabin and with no Wi-Fi. And sorry. Good night, people. <laughs> I had a whole big full life. I mean. Five kids, come on. No, you know what? You deserve, a, you deserve. I need to get away. Yeah, you honestly deserve every happiness and joy. I will call you from the villa. <laughs> Check in on you and yours at the law cabin. Y'all have a good time. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we are going to, I'm so excited about um, starting the year um, with this conversation, but also the things we are going to do. Let's let's make some more people thank this year, Felicia. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. Bravo. That's uh, it. Um, you can clap. Josh, it wasn't good to you. <laughs> I'm. Are we still on the air? Are we still? Oh no, we're. Oh, the camera's still.